Hi, this is a quick update on the PHORP pool monitor project I've been working on. Uh, I have the 3D, 3D printed parts, PLA parts painted white to keep them cool in the sun uh, to avoid warping. Uh, I did decide to control the pump and take samples periodically. I currently purge the sample tank for about a minute. I sample and read data for four minutes. Then I shut off the pump, push the data to the Blink server, and then I put the Node MCU into deep sleep for about 55 minutes. Um, I don't run from a battery currently, but one could, and also it should be should also help keep the electronics cool. And I, since I have an unventilated plastic enclosure, so this should help. Here are the electronics. I used an opto isolated relay to turn the pump on and off. I soldered in an antenna cable to the ESP01 Wi-Fi module on the Node MCU. So now I have an SMA antenna jack for an external antenna. antenna. Uh, I added DC power jack so I could provide full voltage and current to the pump. I was originally taking power from the Node MCU VN pin and turns out the voltage on there was dropping to 4.6 volts and I could not get the pump to run. I was actually trying to use a transistor also. There was another drop from that. So I just gave up on that. I didn't want to increase my power supply voltage, so I went ahead and just bought that uh, opto-isolated relay off the shelf, and that solved my problem. On the water pump side, I put the outlet of the pump through the drain tube, so one less tube hanging out, and uh, brought it over into the tank. Over on my Blink app, I've combined in the PHORP along with another project that monitors the motor current. So that's a totally separate Node MCU project brought in onto the same uh, application. And I have uh, another tab where I show a, a history graph of these the, the motor currents and the uh, PHORP. And that's it for now. It seems to be working so far pretty well. Maybe a little fine tuning still to go, but I'm going to let it run for a while the way it is.